Grace and peace to you, abiding presence. This weekend is Holy Trinity. It's a wonderful festival in the church where we recognize and celebrate the relational nature of creator, redeemer, and sustainer. We also recognize and celebrate our own relationships with each other and the triune God. As we prepare our hearts and minds for this worship experience, there's a few things that you should know. A few weeks ago, your leadership was approached by Bishop Sue Briner of the Southwestern Texas Synod with an opportunity. Our synod wanted to provide a worship service for all congregations in this large synod on Holy Trinity Sunday, giving pastors and staff an opportunity to worship instead of lead, asking our presiding bishop, Elizabeth Eaton, to preach. After looking at our past worship recordings, Abiding Presence was chosen to host this worship experience. What an honor! The entire congregation is living into our mission, serving others by providing a vehicle for all congregations in Southwest Texas to seek God. Thanks be to God for your willingness to host this Synod worship experience. Now when planning began, we were expecting a normal service with different voices from the ELCA to lead us in liturgy, song, and word. With recent events in our country, the ELCA has provided new liturgy, and Bishop Eaton has recorded a new sermon. So this weekend, you're going to hear words like George Floyd, racism, white privilege, white supremacy, and names of others who have been harmed or died in recent weeks. I want you to be prepared for this, as this is not something I normally preach or say from this pulpit. I'm usually not as bold or brave as our presiding bishop because I am afraid. I'm afraid of offending, of excluding, of hurting feelings to those who have differing theological or political opinions. It may be uncomfortable for some. Others may find moments of lamenting and still others may find a call for action throughout this weekend's worship service. The good news is God made each and all of us in God's image. This is the same relational God who calls us into relationships with each other, regardless of race, of color, of social or political status, and even fear. So as I share this with you, know that I am faced with my own uncomfortableness, my own fear, my own shame and desire to remain silent. Acts 4, verse 20 says, We cannot keep quiet about what we have seen and heard. So as we live in this present reality of a world dealing with a pandemic and a country, dealing with political and racial tensions and divisions, we as a church are called to bear witness to God's presence in all these things. That God is working through us to recognize, repent, reconcile, and rebuild relationships that mirror the divine relationship of the Trinity made known in agape love. So if you have any concerns or if you'd like to share any comments, please feel free to reach out and contact me. You can do so at any time at stevec at aplc.org or call me at the church office 210-494-8884. You, my friends, are the abiding presence of Christ in the world, and together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. Peace be with you.